Live. Yeah. Price is it ticking along? Yeah. Good. Okay, so check it out. Here's our first rule. Here's our first rule. What we need to know is this, and I'm going to write it down. You need to write this down too. We need to know that the in this fraction, a to the m over n, we need to know the top number of this fraction. So this is a fractional exponent. This is an exponent of fraction. We need to know the top number is the power. We need to know the bottom number is the root, okay? You can't see that. So the top number of the fraction is the power, and the bottom number is the root, okay? Top number is the power. So if I look at their example, they got 27 to the 2 thirds. So the top number is the power, see the power, and the bottom number is the root. The top number is the power. The bottom number is the root, okay? So then what is? What what times what times what makes 27? What times what times what makes 27? Three, right? So that means this is three. And now we got to do the power. Okay, now we got to do the power. Three squared is nine. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, huh? Okay. Okay, so in our notes, let's make sure we have this a to the m over n, where we know that's the power, and that's the root. Okay, thumbs up. Okay, good. Okay, number number two, number one. And we don't have to do all of these. We're just going to few of them. So it says, find the indicated nth root. So we're going to go the square root of 64. Now, we don't normally need to write the 2. In fact, in most calculators, they don't they don't write the 2. You guys agree? You just see square root. But the 2 is kind of invisible. The 2 is there. Like even on my calculator, um, if I look at this button right here, it's in blue. That's square root. It doesn't have a 2 inside of it, but it is square root, okay? What's square root of 64, everybody? 8. Good. Okay, this is going to be the cube root of 27. So, what times what times what makes 27? Three. Agree three? Yeah. Okay. Now it gets a little bit harder in some of these big ones. So then I've got, well, the fourth root of 256. Now this is where I kind of want to use a calculator, okay? I want to use a calculator so then I can use my button, right? I can use my calculator button. So I'm going to go the, okay, I'm going to go the four to the my any root in math. Any root, right? Any root of... 256, and I get 4. Okay. Now, if you don't like the any root, guess what you could also do? You want to check this out? We could also go 256 to the 1 fourth power, right? Couldn't we do that? Uh, we could do 256 to the 1 fourth power. It's the same thing, okay? All right, let's drop down to number 7. Okay. 4 through of 625. So what times what times what times what makes 625? I don't know. Mr. Davies, I don't know, but I can use a calculator, right? So I'm going to go, okay, I'm going to say, all right, well, I might know, but I'm going to pretend I don't know. So I can go my fourth of any root of 625, and I get an answer of 5, okay? Anybody get that right? Okay. All right. Okay, now again, you don't have to be super genius. Just use a calculator, okay? There might be some super geniuses in here, but you don't have to be. Just use a calculator, okay? All right? Yeah. What's, what's weird going on? Okay. I did did you use the one eight of the yeah. yeah. So you gotta go two to three. So then I, I got that one. You gotta use parentheses and then one divided by eight. So the whole the line over eight is up there, so that makes sense. Okay, so turn the page. Okay. Turn the page, you guys, go to the next page. Nice, good job. Okay, now number thirteen. Thirteen's easy, you wanna see why? <coughs> They just say rewrite. They don't say give me an answer. They just say rewrite. So on 13, we're going to write 4 to the 3 fifths power. 
That's it. They don't want us to give us an answer. They just want it. So what would number 14 be? How would you write 14? Negative 8 to the what? 2 thirds power. Okay, try 15. Don't shout out the answer. Please, please don't shout out the answer. Do not. So give 15 a try. Don't shout out the answer. Don't shout out the answer. Give her a chance to get it. Okay, now shout out the answer. Seven fourths over. To the seven fourths, right? Fifteen to the seven fourths. Thumbs up. Hands up. Okay, not bad. Okay, sixteen. We're gonna do just the opposite. I'm gonna write this as the fifth root of negative three squared. There's my root, is the bottom part of the fraction. And there's my power, it's the top part of the fraction, right? So 16, what's the answer to 16? Square root of 6 to the third. You do not need the 2 because square root, you don't need the 2. But it's not wrong if you put the 2 there. It's not wrong if you put the 2 there. So the bottom number of the fraction is the root. The top number is the power. Okay, so. Don't shout out the answer, number 18. Give it a try. Don't shout out the answer. Everybody try number 18. Don't shout out the answer, please. Okay, shout out the answer now. Four through it. Okay, everybody get that answer? Okay. Everybody get that? That's pretty easy, okay? Now, 19. 19. Now, I remember last time I did this, and of course, having landed in class is always interesting. Um, it is the fifth root of 32 squared. But it wants us, they want an answer. Evaluate, right? It is the fifth root of 32. So then I'm thinking, okay, what times what times what times what times what makes 32? It's 2, right? So it's 2 squared, which is 4. But then, you know, landing. He's like, well, Dad, can't you just do that on the calculator? Well, well, yeah. He goes, well, why don't you just do it on the calculator, Dad? Well, okay. So then what Landon did is this. Because if you have a calculator, you got to be careful. Watch me do it on the calculator. So you know what? This one, you don't even have to think. Just push buttons. I'm going to go 32 to the power of 2 fifths. Now, uh, can you see this? Everybody watching. Everybody, everybody, everybody. All eyeballs up here. Everybody. Because this is super easy. You can have the calculator can do the answer, but you're going to do something wrong. You're going to do something wrong if you're not careful. Do you see how I use parentheses? you got to have it. Because I need, I need two-fifths to be in the exponent. If I don't use the parentheses, I don't get the two-fifths. You have to have, have to have that. You have to, okay? Absolutely have to, because you need the two-fifths up in the end. So enter. Four, okay? Now if you don't, now we know the answer is four, right? If you go, okay, 32 to the 2 fifths power. Whoops, 2 fifths power. Totally different answer. Because the calculator took 32 to the second power and then took that answer and divided by 5. That's not what we want, is it? So if you need the two-fifths to be in the exponent, you've got to use parentheses. Okay, let's do the next one, okay? So the next one, if I need a parentheses, negative 64 to the power of, I need the three-halves up there, right? I need the, both of them up there, right? That's why I use parentheses, 3 divided by 2. Quit. Wow, I made a mistake, didn't I? What did I do wrong? <laughs> Oh, gave me an error, and I know why I got an error. You can't take the square root of a negative number. You can't take the square root of a negative number, and that's what I tried to do, to take the square root of negative 64. But the calculator caught it, didn't it? And 21, let's do 21 real quick. So you guys give 21 a try and see if you can get an answer, okay? Give 21 a try. Don't shout out the answer. You can either use the calculator or your brain, but don't shout out the answer. Give 21 a try.
Okay, don't shout out the answer. Everybody give it a try. I mean, if the calculator will do it for you, why not, right? You guys agree? Let the calculator do the work. Did you get 49? Yep. Everybody, raise your hand if you got 49. Okay. It's easy, isn't it? Especially if the calculator will do it. But you know, the calculator is such a cool tool, but you have to put it in the right way. You guys agree? Oh, if you don't put it in the right way, you're going to get the wrong answer, right? Okay, cool. All right. Okay, we got, that's about it for today. Um, put your computers back, plug them in, calculus back, plug the computers in, computers back, plug them in. Are we supposed to do 1.5 today? If you want to, we're going to do it, we're going to do it tomorrow in class. If you need a class, so if you uh, get it done, then you just relax, okay? Wow, I missed no, no. it. You're doing, that was all set. How do you keep missing these quizzes? Okay, well, I, I know, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. How about lunch? Okay. Yeah. Calculator's away. Okay. Computer's away. Calculator, please. Was that easy? Yeah. Good. Huh? Don't you like the calculator? Always good to the calculator, right? Did somebody just walk out? Go to the, oh, the computer's away. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Not Charlie. <laughs> Can you believe I called you Charlie? Can you believe I called you Charlie? Yeah, you're probably used to it, aren't you? Yeah. You want to put those away for me? Thanks, man. You're still recording, you know that, right? Oh, no, I did not know that. Hi, <laughs> Mom.